Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Brace yourself for an earthquaking shock. Nothing you have ever seen, nothing you have ever felt could prepare you for this colossus of entertainment. The Double D. Oh shit, Vinny! We're back, baby. Hello. Guess who's here, Vinny? Who's that? Our buddy Tim. He, yeah. He came out of nowhere. We've missed you, buddy. I know. Tell me about it. I've been feel like I haven't been here in forever. I know. I kind of well, haven't. I heard. <laughs> I heard you were shooting a new pilot for Grizzly Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got. Uh, I got something in the works. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> TV pilot. Yeah. I do, no, I'm not joking either. There's, oh. a, there's a TV pilot <laughs> in the works. Oh my god. Nice. Um. Yeah, we'll get details on it as it comes through, but uh, it's in the works, and uh, I'm excited. I'm not going to be on screen. I'll be, but I got producer credits. So, Ooh, yeah. so behind the scenes, You're big time now. Yeah, Todd. no, 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 not yet. <laughs> Todd, Todd. But it's a, uh, it's a Monday edition of the Double D Show. Yes, uh, sir. Welcome. Uh, we're broadcasting live from our Idiot Radio Studios, 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ping. Oh, is it? Oh, oh you got a, a new one. one. Got a new ding. <laughs> got a new one. I don't like that one. <laughs> I miss the old ding. But it's <laughs> abrupt. <laughs> yeah. I don't like ding. change. We are also broadcasting live on TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes Radio, Live Online Radio, and our free Idiot Radio app on iTunes and Google Play. You just get it. Download it. Do you have it on your phone, Joe? Of course. All right, good. <laughs> hey, you know what that bell sounds like when you're in the back of the store and, and somebody comes in and it wants to Sounds like when an mi- old microwave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it does. Your but popcorn's done. I feel like or, I was in like the, the store and you desk. want some penny candy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, um, it's a Sunday. Uh, we're here. Uh, the Steelers just played. They, they didn't have a great <sighs> good day. Hit the bed. We should be talking but about that. It didn't happen. On a good note, we're, we're taping this Monday episode of the Double D Show. I'm having a few beers. And uh, what beers. better way to have a few beers but with some of my drinking partners. <laughs> yeah. uh, Vinny's here. Hey, it's good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Joey's here. <laughs> What's up? And um, Tim's here. Yeah. My drinking partners yeah. hanging out with me <laughs> on this Double I D Show. I never thought of us, but we are drinking partners. Yeah. So, yeah we, we pretty we much all, are. We all have beer. Yeah. Since how long, Vinny and I have been drinking partners since the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> no, since nine, since the nineties. Yeah, it was nineties. I was so. twenty one in the nineties. Wow, well, as long as we ain't <laughs> scratching each other's ball, because that's well. what I think about half of them drinking partners. <laughs> well, we just worry about what goes on here. Oh yeah, yeah I, I, that's what I'm, I'm just care. saying. I mean, what are you talking about? I don't know. I'm feeling fresh today, though. Refreshed. Fresh, just fresh. Fresh. Just fresh. I'm we've refreshed. Had, we've had a week off, so you're definitely feeling fresh. <laughs> you had a week off. Yeah. <laughs> we've been here. I've had some times where I've been fresh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. It's like, a, it's like a fresh fest today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. That was abrupt. <laughs> They're definitely louder and crystal clear. I know that. Did you guys see that old lady that went viral in the trailer park? The campground, doing karaoke, singing Missy Elliott. Yeah. And all that. yeah. Well, you know you went viral when uh, Ellen DeGeneres brings you on the show, and mm-hmm. she had the lady, the old, the old lady, funky white sister, <laughs> is her name. And uh, you know when Ellen brings you on, you're you're getting something. Yeah, you're in trouble. Or like, oh, yeah. so like, I mean, it's pretty obvious Missy Elliott's coming out, right? Right, yeah. right, right. So uh, I don't know. Here's a little bit of the audio of that. We'll start the show off with. Funky white lady. Because <laughs> we should start every show this way. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm at the Ellen show. This First is your time grandma. exclusive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is your yeah. Grandma Joe. Mrs. I Funky so. White like Sister is in the house. <laughs> is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Is your pimp is win yep? Is your pimp is win yep? If you got a big food, let me search ya. Find out how hard I gotta work ya. Is your pimp is win yep? Is your pimp is win yep? I like to get to know ya so I can show ya. Put a hurting on ya like I told ya. Give me all your numbers so I can phone ya. Your girl at steak then call me over. Not on the bed, lay me on your huh. sofa. Call before you come and need your shame. I, I don't want to think about her chocho. Go downtown and eat it. 
like a vulture. See my uh, hips and like my chips. Steel wool. See my ass and my lips. Yo, I don't like Don King. Yeah, Don girl. King this pussy out there. Yo, I wanted to do this jelly a little. Oh, now comes Missy. Yeah, here comes Missy. The crowd gets crazy. Boy, oh boy, it's good to know ya. Is it worth it? Let me worry. Get put my thing out. Flip it and reverse it. It's your feminine It's your feminine brown, yeah. If you got a big head, let me search it. Big fat ebony and ivory. It's your feminine brown, yeah. It's a lot of weight, man. Give her a break. Not anymore. She put it all right back. Well, that's because she, you know. I feel like it's the first time for Missy Elliott's name since like 2005. No, she, all the kids thought she was a new artist when uh, she did the Super Bowl like a couple years ago. Right. I, didn't I think it was like two years ago. That. Yeah, everybody's like, who's this? She's cool. That's well, like when uh, what was <laughs> it? Cool. Drake and Paul McCartney got together or something. Yeah. Or no, who was it? The, no, what, no, no. What was his name? I was just saying, yeah, because I, I was kind of. Just letting you go. Oh, well, no, you're uh, thinking uh, of Kanye. Yeah, Paul Kanye McCartney. and Paul McCartney. Oh. Everybody's like, who's this Paul McCartney? He's good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking about Paul McCartney on the show today, by the way. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's Missy, that's why I brought it up. You know, I was you know, throwing it up. Missy Elliott and the, uh, yeah, that lady. She got <laughs> Don King pussy, I bet. <laughs> Don King pussy. Big, big, hairy, buckwheat-looking, gray crown <laughs> hair coming from that smelly vagina. Imagine it's it. like the fucking Savannah Desert. <laughs> <laughs> How much KY do you need to get it in there? Throw it's some like flour on it. Right. Uh, you see the, you see the front of her pants look like a big ass gutter ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know what, where we're going with this. Well, you brought it up, man. Yeah. You <laughs> took it in the direction of Don King, pussy. Right. Not us. You took it down that hole. I don't have the Chewbacca sound. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not Wookie Bush. That's for sure. <laughs> that's that's the name of my fantasy football team. Wookie Bush. <laughs> the the idiot radio Wookie Bushers. <laughs> Chewbacca's our mascot. <laughs> you like that, Vinny? I, I actually do, believe it or not. <laughs> That's a good team. My team name's Barry McCockiner. Barry McCockiner. Uh, uh, don't start. I, I heard this all week. Barry <laughs> McCockiner. <laughs> I don't know. We're starting making people mad again. <laughs> we're you good know, at that. We're doing something right when we keep making all those guys mad. Start yeah. calling, saying a cunt word. And, you know. well, I haven't said. Well, they know called me the. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Right, we're, let's just have yeah, a you drink. dick sock. Let's, let's just have a drink <laughs> party. All right, yeah. Do, let's have a let's drink party. Let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tough guy. <laughs> 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 we got a couple things coming up. We got a. Um, we got a car show next uh, next week, Joe. Are you coming? Of course. Man, oh, fuck nice. you, man. They call me Vinny the Villain. <laughs> 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 Saturday, September 22nd, second, Max Automotive Grand Opening and Classic Muscle and Custom Car Show. It's 2 p.m. right there, uh, 1366 Old Freeport Road, Suite 700. There's going to be food trucks, DJs, giveaways, and over 120 classic cars for sale. It's brought to you by uh, Team Nuts and World of Wheels, also the um, the Fox Chapel Yacht Club, and then us. Nice. It's, yeah. like, it's like a thing on Sesame Street. Any One radio. of these things don't belong. <laughs> <laughs> I've been filling up my, pilly, uh, my uh, piggy bank. I'm going to buy a car. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. There's a, I heard there's like some cars from movies and stuff there. that'll be. I don't know if they'll be for sale, but they'll be there. Like a Batmobile. Yeah. General Lee. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. There's but, a General uh, Lee out in Indiana, buddy. Yeah. Team Nuts did the uh, tint on the new car, so we have to always. I always send a shout out to them. And, oh, uh, yeah. They did my radio too, man. I love them there. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh PodCon September 30th, right, uh, 5 p.m. at Spirit, uh, 242 uh, 51st Street in Pittsburgh. Where I don't know where did, where is that? Is that uh, where? Uh, 51st Street. Is that? Down in downtown, like Southside, Lawrenceville. Yeah, Sounds like Lawrenceville. <clears throat> oh, I was trying to push that out before I started this, but uh, <laughs> it came out later. You figure anything past 40th Street. But it's the uh, first ever Pittsburgh PodCon. It's uh, taking place on International Podcast Day. Nice. Woo. And we'll be there. Uh, come stop by our exhibit. Yeah. Show how we'll strong a, of a we'll have a tent. Professional you are, huh? We have our, we'll, we won't have our tent. We'll have a table. We'll have. Uh, you know, banners, and we have a whole bunch of stuff. People will see our event package mm-hmm. that we have. When our we're display. Out about. Yes. 
I think we'll, we'll Do they have a food trucks and all that stuff there too, or how's that? Uh, work? It's a. I think they have food and everything in the bar, so uh, probably. Well, oh, they have a bar. It's Spirit. Oh. Spirit bar. I didn't know they had a bar. It's a bar. I don't know. <laughs> well, I can drink with your partner. Yeah. <laughs> you could say we'll be looking extra fresh for this event. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a clock going off in a basketball game. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I just threw them in there. I'd probably need to find the old ones. But, yeah, Pittsburgh PodCon, it's cool because all the most of the podcasts in the city will be there. Uh, I wonder how many of the ones that hate us will be there. <laughs> <laughs> they probably will be really quiet once they see us in person. And right, oh, of course. We're not small guys. I don't know. Maybe they'll be our new drinking partners. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the villain. <laughs> Uh, then October 6th, Saturday, October 6th, time for Fresh Fest comedy show. Time for Fresh Fest. Yeah, time it's for not, Fresh Fest. Not to be mistaken with Fresh Fest, the craft beer, the African American craft beer festival. Got to state all that. We're not affiliated with those. Right. I didn't think anybody would think we were, but just to clarify. What makes you think they would think that? I don't know. Some dick sock. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Time for Fresh Fest comedy show. It, it's it's for really a really good cause. There's a local family. Um, the wife has been in the, in and out of the hospital probably 32 times out of the last 40 days. Wow. She's been in 30. I think at one point it was like 25 consecutive, and then she's been there 30. A total of 32 days out of the last 40. Wow. And uh, she has two young girls, a uh, five-year-old and a, uh, and a, and a seven-month, seven eight-month-old year, uh, eight month old baby. And uh, she has, uh, she's having issues with her uh, temperature. Uh, they can't get it below 103, which means infection. Yeah. And they can't find what's caught. The biggest part is they don't know, you know, what, what's causing it. And... Uh, you know, they have daycare costs, and, you know, the husband has a job and things like that. So he's missing work, and, you know, it's uh, just something terrible. to try to help them out. Sure. You know, good people. Yeah, good Absolutely. cause. Yeah, we're always for a good cause. You can get your tickets at uh, idiotradio.net. Um, you could inbox me, Todd DeFazio, or the Idiot Radio Facebook, and uh, meet up for tickets. Uh, they're $15 or $20 at the door. And uh, we're, we're expecting a sellout. We got Ty Mac as the headliner. Lillian Cannon will be the feature. Hilarious. And then we're supposed to have some surprises uh, through the night. You know, one of Tim's friends. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That, he, uh, that he likes. Who's that? I, mean, I, I can't advertise it, but it, <laughs> it's, a, it's a surprise guest that we could have. Someone I, I tend to stalk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This is Jim Crane. Listen to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio. I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of hidden, hidden things in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got that thing back, man. Holy <laughs> smoke. Well, it's a uh, Monday edition of the Double D Show. Joe, it's Monday. It is Monday. We're broadcasting live. It's Sunday, so we thank you for listening on Sunday, but we also thank those who listen on the podcast. When you come in on Monday and you're not feeling real well, does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. Yeah, today's Monday. No, Saturday! No, today's Monday. No, Saturday! No, I'm sorry. Today's Monday. What day is it? Monday? Oh, Monday! Thank God it's Monday. You're the only moron in the whole world who actually likes Monday. Have a super awesome day of positivity. Fuck off. <laughs> you can catch up with the podcast from all our shows on Idiot Radio. Like Scotty Presents, uh, the Triple B Experience, the Old School Village Idiot Show, uh, which we're going to be talking soon. The Village Idiot Show might be making a comeback. And it will add more programming to the shit, to the network and yeah. all, all right. that. So we'll be talking more about that soon. I'm getting ready to bring my students back. So we'll, maybe Nerd NATO will be, be coming back soon. They've been on hiatus for a while because some of the kids went to, to college. So all right. we'll see what happens. But uh, you can get all the shows uh, from any computer or mobile device or iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spreaker, YouTube, and iHeartRadio, which is pretty awesome. Any way, any way you can get any of those. We're all over the place. 
Uh, we got a mediocre show planned for you today. <laughs> <laughs> a man, uh, he tricks, a nur- tricks nurses into bathing him and wiping his ass. Um, a UK woman is claiming she has the strongest body part. Uh, a local man thinks he is a WWE legend. Blues Clues. Remember Blues Clues? Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have a new host. We're going to talk about that. Uh, who's the top candidate to possibly play Prince in a movie? Uh, we could be getting a new Superman, which we were kind of talking about before <laughs> the show started. Uh, a famous band. Um, we're M- Mutual J.O. Bros. <laughs> you know what Mutual J.O. Bros. are? No. They all jerk, jerk themselves oh, off. Oh, okay, and, all right. You know, like we do before the show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Speak for yourself. We all sit in a circle, talk about the show, read not prep, me. and not jerk me. off. Not Mutual me. Mutual J.O. Bros. It's rituals, Speak for man. yourself. This is why you're not a team player, Vinny. Oh, yeah. This is why you get the choo-choo train. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take the choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take our first break, and when we return, a favorite game show is coming to Pittsburgh. Uh, did you guys know that Pittsburgh has sharks? And uh, yeah. one local community is allowing a strange pet. Huh. Uh, All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take our first break. Uh, don't forget, get your tickets for the October 6th. Time for Fresh Fest. <laughs> 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 Comedy fundraiser. Ty Mac is our headliner. It's going to be a great show. And all of us will be there. Oh, it's good to have some. Time. or some. We're all going to be involved in, you know, we always... Are involved in some way, shape, or yeah, form. Jerking so. each other off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's before the show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. Maybe Ty Mac will join us. God, yeah. I get the jitters. I, I highly doubt it. Mutual jail bros. <laughs> he can see his now because he lost yeah, a lot he of did. weight. He lost a lot of weight. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give him a call at 412 266 126. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment. DJs for all occasions. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? You're listening to Idiot Radio. Taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blahnox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. We're back, bitches. I noticed, Joe, uh, It's a, I'm going to go visual here even though we're on the radio. Uh, when we're on a commercial, Joe's hat's forward. As soon as that music comes on the, to com- come in from the commercial break, he flips it in the back like it's like a switch turns on. Like, I know. <laughs> like <laughs> over the top. I got to get in the zone. Then he said, what's going on, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the rituals, man. World he star, knows. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like, man. He's blacker than me, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you guys see this? Uh, there's a there's a video or not a video game, a game show is coming through Pittsburgh. Uh, the Nickelodeon Double Dare Live Tour uh, oh. is bringing the sh- bringing the show to Pittsburgh, and the tour will be at the Benningham Center in downtown on uh, on a Sunday. And tickets are on sale now. Uh, I believe it is in November. This, it's a Sunday, in November. I just put Sunday, so I probably <laughs> stop yeah. at the computer. Uh, but tickets um, are on sale now, and they're going to start accepting applications to be in the show October 1st. You have to be 18 years or older, and it's going to be uh, hosted by Mark Summers. Mm-hmm. Which I don't. Anybody watched the new one yet? The new no. Double Dare. No, no, no. I don't like that girl. 
I don't like well, her. I, I just don't want people to get the Double Dare uh, live tour confused with the Double D worldwide yeah, they, tour. Well. You know, cause the people get <laughs> hey, you know, we get right. accused of stealing a lot of stuff, so maybe we stole that name from Double Dare. Right. Shit, dude, we might have. <laughs> oh, man. Don't want to get it confused. Yeah. Just saying. I'm glad you pointed out, <laughs> Vinny. Hey. Buddy. But thanks for being a good drinking partner. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that was that's a good, what a partner is all about. That was a good catch. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you could, if you want to, I guess it's an adult double dare, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess. So, instead of getting slimed on, you get peed on by R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see now. <laughs> Here we go. We're on such myself. a good start, Vinny. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> There it goes. Attention, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Being the bill has just derailed the show. <laughs> ah, welcome back, Vinny. <laughs> it only took 21 minutes this time. Too. It felt good, dude. <laughs> I tell you. The Double Dare Live Tour.com. Go to Double Dare Live Tour.com, get more information. I guess uh, I don't think it's sold out yet. Uh, tickets and that. Joe, you want to be my date for that? You want to be my plus one? Well, I should be. You know, you are my father. Be, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> wait a minute. It's about time you take me to something. Yeah. <laughs> one baseball game, god damn it. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll get you a couple We're balloons. We're going to a car show next week. Yeah, but that's because it's for the show. And it's I vomited something. on you. You did. <laughs> no, I've never been it. felt so close to you. All I, every time anybody sees that video, all they talk about is, that kid's face in front of you, that was, <laughs> he was mortified. Because you made a waterfall out of it when you put your hand. It was hitting <laughs> oh, me towards yeah, the side. it was a giant <laughs> sprinkler. Well, to, to my defense, I thought it was a burp. Yeah, it yeah. was a burp, but there was a little bit extra to it. I didn't realize. And then <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, I guess uh, the third-ranked competitive eater in the world went and uh, smashed it. ate it in like seven minutes and 50 seconds or something. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was on pace. To my defense, I was on pace with them until I couldn't get any. I got stuck. Yeah, and then you got cuckoo and for you Cocoa Puffs. You drank 14 waters <laughs> thinking that would work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... Tim, that was so disgusting. I know. I'm sad. I missed that. <laughs> to see oh. the uh, Calzone videos, go to our social media or go to our YouTube, Idiot Radio YouTube page, and you can see all that. Uh, all My that. buddy Rerun, he was like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, re- True Bangs was there, Rerun. Um, oh, man. Uh, there's, a, every, there's a gyro in McKee's Rock. Don McKee's Rocks. Down there. Down there. Uh, they want... People want me to go to try that. Uh, you need to give you it up. You want me to just, try that. Just let it go for a while. Yeah, man. I would like my try that, Le'Veon. <laughs> 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 so residents of uh, Shadyside were shocked uh, when uh, a fishing boat reeled in a 12-foot bull shark. I heard. Yeah. The line broke and the shark swam away, uh, swam away unharmed. Uh, sharks have been spotted in the Mississippi but never in the Ohio. Experts are still unsure how the shark made it through the dams, and they warn the public to be careful. There may be more sharks. Sharknado. Sharknado. I would lose it if I saw a shark in my Yinzer Sharknado. <laughs> how awesome would that be? Swimming around downtown. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. the, the scuba divers looking for bodies? Hell yeah. Oh, man. They already can't see what's going on down and there. And they're, they're going to be like mutant sharks, teenage mutant ninja sharks. With lasers on their heads. <laughs> they're going to be yinzer sharks. <laughs> yinzer sharks. <laughs> yinzer sharks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, you ever see the size of those, like, fish that are in there? They're all dead, and they're, like, the size of babies. I'm sure, like, whatever's in that water isn't going to be good for those sharks. It isn't going to be good for the people because they're going to be like, they're going to grow like legs and penises. No, you know what? <laughs> come you know fu- what? Fuck all our wives. <laughs> <laughs> they say that water is the cleanest it's ever been. Oh. And, and it's, it's, Somebody lied it's to you. Well, well, who lied to me? I don't know. Well, would, you go, go, would you go in that water? If I had to go in there, no. yeah. No. I've, been, I've been in the water. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking nasty. But it's not like it was when the steel mills were here. Right. That's when you were mutating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turtles with three heads and, you know, got a half a fist, you know. <laughs> I, I Fish with teeth. I saw this cross the line, came through the line the other day. 
Um, I, I'm kind of shocked to see it, but uh, a local suburb here in Pittsburgh called Bethel Park passed an ordinance to allow chickens yes. as pets in residential areas. They are excited about this issue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, excited. Uh, there was a lot more puns. I took them out. <laughs> uh, it's been uh, it's been cooped up for too long. I <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Mark O'Brien said the council uh, meeting uh, this past uh, September 10th. Residents uh, they voted, and residents will be allowed to keep chickens in their residential zones starting uh, next month. So October, just in time for Halloween. Yeah, I can't wait. Awesome. Any resident who wants to raise chickens will have to apply for a permit. It's ten dollars, and uh, you can. Uh, you can't wait to chicken. go and get yeah. my chicken permit. Make your own KFC chicken permit. Yeah, you walk your kid up to a porch, and all of a sudden, there's chickens chasing you across the yard. <laughs> yeah. Chickens must be re- uh, at the in the resident's property. They can't like leave your if your chicken runs out, and probably the fine if it gets loose. That's to be contained to your property. You can't walk your chicken with a secure fence and a predator poop. Proof coop. You cannot have Asians living next door. So like, <laughs> so like chicken fucker Joey doesn't come to your backyard and try to bang your chicken. <laughs> just fucked up. <laughs> That's all right, Joe. It's okay. It's not That's cool to have you Asians. Throw up on me. You call me living a by the fucker. dozens in the house. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> chicken <laughs> fucker. <laughs> Who even says that? That's worse than dick socks. I think. Dick sock. Oh, man. This show, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'd rather be called a dick sock than a chicken fucker any day. I don't know. I uh, like, I like, I don't know. You I'm are just, a dick sock, Todd. Come on. Thanks. I've been called that before. You, guys you are, stole that off of somebody. I did not. You stole that <laughs> off of them. Hey, don't worry about it. Here, partner. Hey, cheers, man. You guys, are, you guys are good drinking partners. Have a drink. You really are. All right, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> If I, I Slippery think, slope. If I did the uh, chicken, like, in my yard, I would, like, box my whole yard in. Like, a, I'd make a chicken run around <laughs> the whole yard. That'd there be you awesome. You That'd could chase man. them around like yeah, Rocky. Oh, one on, of the man. baseball fields we do, uh, we go to, they have a chicken as a mascot. And it has, like, a coop and stuff, and it comes out. But, like, just imagine, like, the, the male, the roosters. Yeah. What your neighborhood would sound like in the morning when the sun comes up. That would, right? Well, yeah. I, lived, I, lived, I wouldn't have that problem because I'd have shot it. <laughs> there, I remember when I used to de- deliver uh, products about 10 years. I'm really gassy today. <laughs> about 10 years ago. From the beer? Yeah, drinking partners. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I, the, these people in the city of Pittsburgh had, um, had a rooster, and every morning when the sun would come up, There's- all morning long. That's a, that's a pretty good rendition. There was somebody who had one in, in, in the West End. I'm not going to say their name, but right next door they had Asians living right next door, and they had, uh, a, they had, a, they had a boatload of them. General Sos chicken. There was yeah. a family in Brookline if, like, not too long ago. They, uh, they ended up getting in a bunch of trouble because they had a bunch of like chickens and all types of stuff in their oh, backyard. Yeah? They were trying to make, uh, uh, what's that place called, Natural tre- Living Treasures? Oh, Brooklyn. yeah, yeah. <laughs> living Treasures Up Brookline there, uh, Edition. <laughs> <laughs> with with a blue uh, bull shark, well, you know yeah, what? <laughs> that's the that's the that's the, uh, that's the main attraction. Yeah, it is. You know these these people in the West they End come had like Raj, actually like a bull shark in the house too. <laughs> they had them in the house. <laughs> they had them in the house and outside. They were just run from outside and inside the house. <laughs> uh, that's unbelievable. They're like they had like a doggy door or something. <laughs> they, they, no, they just left the door open. I, mean, oh. I bet they had, they made some good general stuff. I don't even know there. if they're truly like. Well, they, they're probably Vietnamese. Oh, okay. They make good steak, and I don't know. No. <laughs> cat Chicken sna- fried steak. Cat steak. <laughs> no. All right, that, that's enough. Where, where the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we all haven't been together in a while. No, you haven't been with us in a while, man. You're out, you're out of your wits today. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to find out who the new host of Blues Clues is. All right. That was my Blues we Clues impersonation. <laughs> Vinny's singing it. <laughs> uh, who's the top candidate to possibly play Prince if there's a movie? Uh, we could be getting a new Superman. Chappelle. And a uh, famous um, band 
are mutual J.O. bros just like us. Yeah. Can you imagine if they had a black man playing Superman? All right. We'll talk about it when we come back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's get another beer, drinking partners. I'm all for it. <laughs> I got you. Do it. All right. We'll be back. Put it on my tab. But Taglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglioHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats. Featuring full-service dog and cat grooming, bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Money Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. You're listening to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. The Brookline Teen Outreach, a nonprofit located in the South Hills of Pittsburgh that offers free programming to youth ages 10 to 18. After school and weekend drop in sessions, provide tutoring, access to computers, community service opportunities counseling, and life skill program. The Brookline Teen Outreach is dedicated to making a difference in people's lives by offering success, understanding, and hope in our community. For more information, please visit Facebook, Twitter, or their website, brooklineteenoutreach.org. Hey, it's T.O. Double D from the Double D Show and Idiot Radio. I just want to take a few seconds out to tell you about Wildcat Belts. Ever since we've won the uh, best podcast in Pittsburgh in the city paper, we've been walking around with a championship belt, and we got it from Wildcat Belts. These guys actually make the real belts for WWE, Nathan's Hot Dogs, many corporate companies, and pretty much every famous championship belt you see on TV, these guys make. Andrew and his staff hooked us up with that sweet championship belt that you see in our pictures. Uh, You can get one for yourself. All you have to do is go to wildcatbelts.com. It's a great idea for fantasy sports, corporate awards, prizes, and so much more. For more information, go visit wildcatbelts.com and tell them TO Double D and Idiot Radio sent you. We're back, bitches! Yeah, baby. All I could do for a drink, man. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean, Ma? Yeah, partner. I don't know. What's... I just want to drink, Ma. Okay. Don't be mad at me, partner. Craft beer? Don't be mad at me, partner. Did you know we were a craft beer podcast? I didn't know that. I didn't uh, even I drink didn't craft that. beer. Yeah. I just drink Icy Light. <laughs> right? I don't know. What's up with your diet, man? <sighs> we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> I'm a bit of dick song about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blue's Clues has a new uh, human companion. The 1996 children's program is getting a reboot on Nickelodeon as well as a new title and host. It's uh, Broadway actor uh, Joshua Dela Cruz and uh, will be retitled Blue's Clues and You. Okay. Uh, Wasn't right. one of them Come guys on. on drugs at one time? The original one? I don't know. There, but there was always rumors that the one was... Joe died, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that you hear. But uh, what was the other guy's name? Steve. 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 Yeah, it was Steve that died, and Joe was. That guy's still alive. Steve's still alive. Yeah, Steve actually helped pick um, Joshua. Do you see what he looks like now? Looks yeah, like he doesn't look the same. Yeah, he doesn't. He's all <laughs> he does, he bald like and has glass. He's, he's a guitarist in like a band or something. Yeah, but uh, he uh, he was instrumental in picking the new uh, host. Companion host of uh, Blues Clues. Well, if he looks psycho, how can he miss? He just pick one, <laughs> pick somebody. I don't, anyway. I don't know, man. But the the Why series you keep burping, man. What's the problem? I'm here? Gassy today. Why? Um, I don't know. All about drinking. Yeah, <laughs> drinking the hard stuff. <laughs> that craft beer. I never had craft beer before. <laughs> uh. The series will follow the format uh, similar to the original show and will begin production later this month in Toronto. 
Okay. So they're just bringing back everything Nickelodeon, huh? <coughs> Double Dare. Yeah. Blues Clues. I've seen, uh, not on Nickelodeon, but uh, Murphy Brown is coming yeah. back. Yeah. Magnum P.I. Why? No, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> I wish Nickelodeon that. would bring Victorious back. That chick was hot. Yeah. Right, Victoria Joe? Victoria Justice? Oh, she's, yeah. a, she's a smoke show, dude. She's a what? She's a smoke show. What is that? I mean, she's hot, Todd. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get Smoking. it. That's the, that's the new lingo. Oh. That's because we're older. Oh, that's man. the new lingo, Le'Veon. She's a smoke show. You guys are talking about Magnum P.I. I I don't know what the fuck that is. That's coming back. (laughs) (laughs) That dude, you know what? He should at least have to have the mustache. Oh, yeah, you would think. That should be a prerequisite if you're going to be Magnum P.I. Yeah, you got to have the mustache. You got to have the mustache, right? I think he's shaved and he's cleaned up. It's like a Mexican dude, isn't it? It's not even. (laughs) I don't think he's Mexican. Mexican. Paul himself had nothing to do with it. Tom Selleck has nothing to do with. Well, I wonder I mean, if he'll make a cameo. You would think they'd have well, to. The put show him there. is the show. I mean, what the hell? You they still got the, the, the black guy flying the helicopter. Yep. They still got the you know the red Ferrari. But they, they got a girl. And then like, yeah, and then they changed the girl from the, the old British dude or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna fail. With the dogs, I'm pretty yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, the Doberman. The Doberman. It's gonna yeah. fail. And then Roseanne will be the Connors. Yeah. Because. Um, Roseanne was being a dick sock on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter gets a lot of people in trouble. It really does. Yeah, Especially it. me. <laughs> uh, there are rumors swinging around. Uh, there's a Prince film in the works, even though nothing is in stone or even really you know, ready to go. Um, there have been flying around candidates to possibly play the icon, and it's. Uh, I think Bruno Mars is on the short list. And, Chappelle. Uh, uh, whoa, Netflix whoa, whoa, was rumored. Whoa. What? what? You mean Bruno Mars is on the short list? He uh, he's the person that I think they want. Nothing's in stone yet. Nothing's set up yet. Was Prince a taller guy though? And it's no. rumored no. Well, Bruno Mars isn't. Tall. That's what I mean. I know Bruno Mars is short. I didn't know if that's if there's no, a taller than Prince. I don't know. Lorenz Tate, Lorenzo Tate. He could he could be in there. Is he rumored to tall. play he's Prince? Too tall. Yeah. He's too tall. Is this your wish list? Yeah, I love him. I don't <laughs> see Bruno Mars playing it, though. For some reason, Tim, I see black in your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, ru- the original rumor were, was Netflix was behind it and Mars, but they both denied any involvement in any kind of project having to do with Prince. Uh, but more than one source has said that Bruno Mars is the front runner. Do you think playing. Bruno Mars could pull that off? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, See, yeah. my, you know what's weird? I, I'm not a fan of him because my mom hates him, and she says every time she sees him, she says that's not a man, that's a little lesbian woman. <laughs> that's what my mom says every time he comes that's up on screen. Who Bruno Mars comes yeah. up? Yeah, she's convinced that's a small lesbian woman. Man, no, 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 no. I don't Bruno, know. <laughs> Bruno Mars, uh, he's a phenomenal performer. Oh, he's oh, definitely yeah. talented. And uh, I mean, he can pull every bit. Of uh, but Prince off. Did you when see Prince he died, he did a um, he dressed oh, as huh. Prince and did a Prince tribute. When you get a chance, look on YouTube. You see some of the stuff he does. A, a sting. Did you ever see? You, do you think it's a little too soon for that though? Did you ever see no. Bruno Mars' sisters? I don't know. They had that little show there for no. a while. No, they're all smoking hot. He got like five sisters. Six what are sisters. they, Joe? Smoke shows. Smoke, smoke shows. shows. Yeah, they're all smoke. Is that shows, the name man. of that show that they were on? Too? I don't know. Well, you see, they're like the Queen movie they're doing. With that Remy Malik dude. Yeah. yeah, that dude does look yeah, like... That um, looks real good. He looks like the singer. What's the singer's oh, name? Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. <clears throat> they were going to have Sasha Baron Cohen play that. No. They were going... No, that's what the original Yeah, the original was. one Thank was. God they wanted He wanted to direction. take it real dark. He wanted to, like... Well, he would have, like... Well, he been, is, if Freddie Mercury was. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know Sasha would be fucking dudes. He don't care. Yeah, he, yeah that's what I mean. <laughs> that's yeah. the way well, he wanted to take what, it. What do you think Freddie was doing? Well, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's I mean he he lives the role when he yeah. plays those parts. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Did anybody see the Bobby Brown movie? No, no. I, got, I got a DVR though. What's funny is like the women that he played, like the woman that played Whitney Houston looked. I thought the girl that they had as Janet Jackson resembled Janet Jackson when she was that age. Now the girl that played Whitney, I didn't. I wasn't. A, I don't think she looked like Whitney. I don't think the guy looks like Bobby Brown either. Do you? <coughs> no. 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 But no. he was, the, it's the same, I guess he it's plays the same. The hell, he's the dude who was in the new editions. Yeah, it's, it's the same people, I guess, that made that one. Yeah. And um, I don't know. They, it's funny they, they made the, the um, Whitney Houston not as attractive as Whitney Houston, but then his current wife, they made the more attractive than the real person. 
I wonder if that was done on purpose. I don't know. Uh, it was like, I don't know, it was a crazy movie. And if you're a big Whitney Houston fan, I would say don't watch it. Right. Because well, it, really, it paints her in a bad light. Did it, did it show any a new edition in passing? Uh, I think Ralph makes a... Ralph and Johnny are in it, like, very, very briefly. Like, just in passing. See, I think they had to have that happen. But I haven't watched it. There was yet. not enough new edition. There was a lot of mentions of new edition. Well, I mean, he... Well, you figure at that they time... They already had their movie, so... <clears throat> well, yeah. But if you think about it, New Edition at that point was... Uh, he was up, He was mad at him. He was upset. Yeah. Right. You know, so he I... He was... I, um, Well, there was one point when he found out about Whitney, he was on the road with New Edition. Yeah. And then uh, there was something else that he... Um, they talk about him fucking ghosts? Oh, no. No. No, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't have that. No, but they, that's, that's after the fact. When he was... Um, <laughs> He had that first album. It was like Master Stage, and it wasn't. I think that's what the name of it was, right, Vinny? I'm not sure. I forget what the first album was called, but Don't Be Cruel. He wanted it to be more of an edge and more of him. Yeah, and nah, him and nah. Ralph were in a studio smoking weed, and that's when uh, he said he was going to work with Teddy Riley. That's when he had, he did a song. I need a girlfriend. I, I, yeah, I don't know. yeah. I think you're right. That's Master Stage. Yeah. Day. Um, What's her name? Baby F- Ellie Face in the man who did it. Baby Face. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what happened there is uh, you're you're right. He didn't have the edge at that point. But then they he, did he half on Don't Be Cruel. He did half of it with Face Ellie Face, and he did it with half of it with um, with Teddy Riley. And I didn't I well, didn't had, realize that. Yeah, he, he had to get like out of my shadow. prerogative, and that was. Teddy Riley. Yeah. Well, Joey you, probably has you know no clue music, who we're talking about. Oh, I have zero clue. <laughs> <laughs> checking fantasy football right now. If you know the, uh, <laughs> the music, I, I know the, the, the type of the, the, the sounds, it was Teddy Riley. But uh, the one thing about Johnny, I mean, uh, Bobby Brown, is that uh, that first album, he was trying to get out of that shadow of New Edition. Yeah, right. right, right. Yeah. soft, you know. Yeah. Then all of a sudden he came out there. He was the bad boy. Getting arrested and yeah. dancing yeah. and Atlanta yeah, and stuff. He got a little out of hand, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Watch the movie, Joe. You don't know any Bobby Brown songs? Nah. Really? My no. prerogative. <laughs> Tim, you nailed it. Yeah. See, Tim should be in, uh, in a band with you. <laughs> you and Tim. He wants to be my tenderoni. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's like, I don't know. I like, I like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Every little step I take. <laughs> um, after rumors of uh, Henry Cavill exiting the role of Superman, there has been uh, lots of people brought up in the conversation to replace him. Did I say his name right? Cavill? Cavill? I'm not sure how. Uh, it, it, whatever you want. Cavill. Me. I think it's Cavill. Sounds good That's to me. Um, so there's been a lot of people brought up into the conversation to replace him. One of them being um, uh, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, the, he was in uh, Black Panther. He's Creed. He was in uh, the Fantastic Four. Yes, Human Torch. Yeah, so he's one of the people, and uh, I don't know. What's funny, too, is even Nicolas Cage was brought into the uh, conversation. Wow. And he, at, believe it or not, at one point he was set to play Superman yes, in a film yeah. that got axed here in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Was it uh, Death of Superman? or uh, that? Uh, it was something like that. I don't know, it? but the Metropolis was supposed to be Pittsburgh, and the PPG building was supposed to be the Daily Planet. And there's even, like, if you Google it, there's concepts of him wearing the suit. And uh, believe it or not, he's a huge Superman fan. Hmm. And his kids are named kal I believe, and jor I think, are his kids' names. Hmm. Uh, that's how big of a Superman fan he is. The Mongelo and the Rongelo. What's funny? Jingling. Is <laughs> take like, take like. Nick Cage, I always said Nick Cage Hands after nice w- soft, watching like Face Off, I think he would be an ama- I think he'd be the man at Lex Luthor. He could, I think he could play. Uh, I think he'd be all right there. I, face I Off was He's a good not movie. Superman. No, I, I, I think he could play a Zod, General Zod, Zod yeah. or yeah. or Lex. I I think he'd go Lex, full shave his head bald. Right. Think of Caster Troy. <laughs> yeah. From Face Off. Yeah, I I don't know. For some reason, I'm seeing General Zod. <laughs> well, they already did Zod in that movie. Well, series. I'm just saying. Yeah. If, but you remember, that was the, him thought, the thoughts of him being Superman 
was way before this movie ever came about, The Man of Steel. Right. I think it's just people trolling on the internet. <laughs> yeah. He's, but he's, the, he's the, too old now. Yeah, that's why I said, I say Lex. I don't think he ever had that look for Superman, ever. Mm-hmm. His beak's too big. And, <laughs> His beak. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the, the one so I like the most that, uh, that people are getting behind on, like, social media and all that is... Uh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Chow from the Hangover uh, trilogy. Ken, yeah. Ken Jong wants to uh, replace Cavill as Superman after jockeying posts of uh, photos of himself photoshopped as the Man of Steel. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Todd. <God. laughs> Jong has spent the last few days uh, retweeting various Photoshop pictures of him with the hashtag Ken for Kent and Ken for <laughs> Superman. And he's trying to get the attention of uh, Warner Brothers. Well, they could have Blind Brian play Lex Luthor in that. <laughs> What's funny is um, the um, both the first and the second. Um, what's that movie he was in? Hangover. Hangover. Yeah. Um, grossed more money than than Justice League. So both both movies separately. Yeah. Gross more money than Justice League. You so. know that dude's an actual doctor. Yeah, he's a real life doctor. Yeah. Who's that? That Ken Ken Jung. Ken Jung. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a doctor Mr. in Chow. real life. He's, he's just just like like Sean that Sean uh, guy. He'll always be Stifler. Sh- yeah. Sean yeah. William Scott. Oh right. yeah, yeah. Well, he'll always be Stifler. Like Jung will always be Chow. Chow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'll always be Chow. It doesn't matter. He was even in the the second ride along, and he was like, "You're Mr. Chow." Right. Right. <laughs> I don't think you can escape that. Uh, we I hate t- Godzilla too. <laughs> <laughs> he destroys cities. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the band that was uh, Mutual Jo Bros. Yeah, something we know about around here. Uh-huh. Joe, Vinny. Yeah. It's a good. We had a good session before the show today because we're we're drinking partners. We do yeah. it all, we do it all together. Right. <laughs> we're, we're getting nice and fresh for the show. Yeah. Aren't you um, underage to be drinking? Oh. No. Oh, I just. The Beatles' Paul it's McCartney partner, <laughs> and John Lennon were apparently mutual J.O. bros when they masturbated together while yelling females' names like Bridget Bordeaux. And so Sir Paul revealed in GQ interviews uh, that it took place at their time uh, pre-fame years. In the pre-fame years, because then they had like probably women throwing themselves after, you know, <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the in the British invasion sure. years. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Lennon, they were all at Lennon's house alongside maybe three or four of their friends. McCartney told GQ, it's, it's just a group of us, he said, and instead of getting roaring drunk and partying, uh, he doesn't even know if they were all staying the night or anything. Um, he said they were all sitting in chairs, and in a, in a, the room wasn't even lit. The lights were out. <clears throat> Somebody started masturbating, so they all did, and they were um, they were all punching it. And, um, <laughs> I you think they excluded well. Ringo from that too? I don't know. Ringo's <laughs> probably—he was probably weird. He was probably trying to stick his pinky up somebody's <laughs> butt. He was probably the weirdo of the group. Why? Well, you know what I mean? He was working on. George Harrison's just in the corner writing He's like, songs. I might. Has a has a has a drumstick up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded more Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to attempt to. He, he was working on Caveman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but they were shouting out uh, inspiration, uh, like like who if we were in a, a mutual jo session, like we were before the show, when we were shouting out women's names, who would you shout out? Victoria Justice. She's a smoke show. Okay, smoke, smoke show. show. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Tim, how about you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like Salma Hayek, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. There's just too many of them. I, I have to go with Halle Berry. Yeah. Halle Berry, and then I'd I'd be. I'd be like the John Lennon and ruin it. <laughs> John H- John Lennon yelled out Winston Churchill and it ruined it for everybody. <laughs> I'd be like, Tim. <laughs> everybody else would stop. I'd be, He'd be like Frankie Mercury. I'd be, I'd be finished. Freddie. <laughs> Dave Brace. John Wait. Goodman. Oh, Joey man. Purse. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> John Goodman. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> uh, man tricks uh, nurses into uh, bathing and wiping his ass. A UK woman is claiming 
Uh, she has the strongest body part. I get you can't guess which one it is. Pinky. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> a local man thinks he is a WWE legend. This guy, we got to find him. Yeah. We got to find this fucking wacko. Apparently he was hypnotized. <laughs> no. I, 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 you'll hear the story and you'll, you'll hear why he thinks he's this person, I guess. He even does the eyeliner. And it, wait, wow. What do you see? Um, yeah, we're going to take our break. Uh, don't forget... It's the Double D Show. We're broadcasting from our Idiot Radio Studios inside the Brookline Pub. Jeez, oh, man, I'm so gassy. 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ping. I don't like that one. Wow. <laughs> that also, is so abrupt. <laughs> also the site for Time for Fresh Fest. Time for Fresh. Time Wait, for Fresh, fresh Fest or fest. Time for Fresh Fest? Time oh, for time Fresh Fest. fest. Not to be mistaken. Oh, okay. <laughs> by Fresh Fest. Oh, yeah. The most unoriginal name there could be. Beer Festival here in Pittsburgh. And not mistaking. If you Google. Double Dare Live Tour for <laughs> Double <laughs> Beach. <Show. laughs> right. Yeah, because we don't want to get accused of call. Mark Summers will be fucking calling me dick socks on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Fre- if you Google Fresh Time. There is, um, not Fresh Time, Fresh Fest. <laughs> if you Google Fresh Fest, um, there is one in probably every part of the world. Last week, there was a Fresh Fest rap concert in Canada. Wow. But, you know, they, they invented that name. They did. So, you know, we don't want to get it. We don't want to mistake it for, for their name. Yeah. You know, we don't want to be called names on social media. Come on, man. Just have a drink. Stop. Oh, <laughs> it's a time for Fresh Fest right here at the Brookline Pub, October 6th. It's Saturday night, 9 p.m. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Lillian Cannon will be here. Ty Mack will be the headliner. And we have uh, some, some surprises. Some of our friends are going to hopefully pop by. Nice. I think. And I got it before we go on the break, I got to say my um, I'm excited my uh, – Podcasting workshop, Joe, is starting back up at the Brookline Teen Outreach. I see All my that, friends man. over no there. Way. And they even set the date already for next year's um, Brookline's Got Talent. It's all it's in March next year. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Saw you going to come this year, Joe? Yeah, for sure. All right. Maybe. Maybe you can open up for Cren. Oh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. We'll probably should take our You're break. on a roll today, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is Jim Crane listening to the Double D Show and Idiot Radio. I love these guys. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. I think. There we go. Let's get the right button. There, there it is. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blahnox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. You're listening to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio. Taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Bataglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglieHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give them a call at 412-266-1266. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. (laughs) 
We're back, Vinny. 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 Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Calm down. And yeah, so, if you had another drink, you wouldn't be all so wound up. It's man. so funny. My uh, my son's name is Vinny. No, it's a coincidence. I mean, it's uh, it just so happens that my I my am buddy, older than, my drinking partner, yeah, name I, is Vinny. I am older than your son, right? Right, but <laughs> at home, you know, when I talk about Vinny, meaning my drinking partner, Vinny, not my son, Vinny, he goes, "I'm right here, Dad. I'm talking about you, little little man." But uh, I just posted a video of him playing baseball in the yard, and he, he's hitting off a tee. Off the tee, I and saw And he that. hit the ball, and he said, damn. <laughs> and then he goes, can't find the damn ball. Or where's my damn ball? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man, we're going to have fun with him. He goes in school. Bad. Joe's a, his big brother Joe's a bad influence. Yeah, I remember him. those moments we had as ki- when I was a kid. Wait, I don't. <laughs> Go <on> fucking there, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> A man in Arizona is facing felony sex abuse charges after he allegedly faked Down syndrome. <laughs> now, before I don't want to get too offensive and like make somebody offended, but how do you fucking fake Down syndrome? Right. Like, there's a look there, right? You're right. Yeah, yeah. I don't, but without getting too offensive, right? There is. There's a look. I'm there. not even joining. You. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, I mean, so he faked... Vinny the villain has officially wrecked the show. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. No, you ain't he, doing that to me, buddy. He faked Down syndrome and tri- tricked a series of female caregivers into bathing him and uh, changing his soiled diapers. Arizona police arrested 31-year-old Paul Anthony Machada. Machaca. <laughs> Machaca. Sounds good to me. Earlier this month at his home, he was charged with three counts of felony sexual abuse and one charge... Of fraudulent schemes. See, so we could get charged with fraudulent schemes. Oh, we could? Because we use the name Fresh Fest. Us oh, and everybody oh. else yeah. in the world. Huh. <laughs> Authority said Menchaca posed as a woman's... I'm going to say his name different every time I read <laughs> it. Posed as a woman named Amy when, uh, sh- when he made uh, ads for caregivers to bathe and change the diapers of an adult son... With Down syndrome, so he was the the son, and he was also the mother, Amy, the fake mother. Wow! Uh, three actually, three women fell for this, <laughs> and responded to the ad. And the first victim became suspicious when Machaka, <laughs> Shaka Khan, Menchaka oh. Khan, Menchaka Khan, <laughs> oh, <good Lord. laughs> would get aroused, and. Uh, they contacted Menchaca's real parents, and they told the they told the woman that uh, their son did not have Down syndrome. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a red flag. <laughs> like I would think that was a crank call. If somebody was like, "Hey, uh, your son Joey with Down syndrome. Every time I change his diaper, he gets a boner." <laughs> you had to use my fucking name. On <laughs> <laughs> right, right, Vinny? I'm like, um, you know, ma'am, what's your name? Yeah, see, uh, Joey doesn't have Down syndrome. Sorry. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> You're a real dick suck. But it is your son, right? <laughs> they, yeah, so they told the woman that he didn't have Down syndrome. And the three victims said uh, they confronted Menchaka and he admitted to lying them that he, about having a disability. Wow. The lengths people will go through. I would love to see video of him in full character. Right. It's, I would like to see him with the woman's voice, too. The, maybe the Amy character that he does. Uh-huh. I don't know. Did he like pose like with the voice, too? I thought it was just like an ad. Where well, he, he, he was Yeah, they had a call and interview for the job and My stuff. stomach's and, starting to bother me. Oh, fuck. Oh, We're here we go. Finish this show. <laughs> A woman uh, claims that her um, that she has the UK's strongest vagina. Yes, she used it to uh, lift uh, tins of beans and jars of marmite. What's marmite, Vinny? I don't know what the hell it's that a, is. Why are you asking me? It's a, uh, I thought you would. It's know. like a Vegemite. It's like a spread. Ah, sounds disgusting. Yeah. Lifted, what is that? What is like? Art. Is it like Nutella? No, no. It's a. Uh, <laughs> Well, Vegemite, I, I believe, is uh, like vegetables. Well, all this just, is Marmite. Right, but it, I, I believe it's like the same thing. Oh, okay. Um, they were um, live Ugh. on this morning, 
late uh, last week. I guess that's like the the UK's version of the Today Show. I'm, I'm assuming they had so, nothing else to cover. So she, that day, just so she just hanging shit from her vagina. Yeah, this mother of three, her name is Christy Wright. She's 49 years old. She's able to lift weights held by a string that is attached to a jade egg inserted into her vagina. Oh, okay. And then she picks it up. So, so, so what, it, it's hanging from her eyes, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, she has, she has a strong vaginal wall, right. which tightens up on the jaded egg. The yeah. jade egg. That's her husband's happy. I bet when she walks in the room, you she hear. cut the circulation. Oh, 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 oh. Hanging, Hanging tough. tough. <laughs> Tim got it. Is that new kids? Tim, yeah. Yeah, Tim got it. Why well, we can't talk about it with Joey. He don't know what they always do. Yeah, talking. he's like, I don't know. I don't know. He's like, I like, I like french fries. <laughs> what was the uh, last time pizza, this time french fries? Well, you're right. I like both. <laughs> Not too far here in uh, New Brighton, PA, this man was in a bar posing, telling people he was a uh, WWE superstar. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess we know who that is. We should, anyway. Yeah. He was at. After being taken into custody, he was telling bar patrons he was WWE's Undertaker and tried to tombstone the bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> Not too far from here in New Brighton, Pennsylvania, Mark Calloway, which coincidentally is the name of the real Undertaker, yeah. 46 years old, was arrested earlier this summer after he uh, became drunk and belligerent at the Cap and Cock Bar in New Brighton. We gotta go there. Did you say the cap and cock? Cap and Google that. Make sure that's a real. I don't want that in my search history. (laughs) (laughs) Callaway began telling other patrons that he was the Undertaker, a popular WWE wrestler, and was encouraging others to smash a chair off his back to prove it. Now, is he like seven foot tall? Or I mean, that's what I was wondering. Like, was he the size of Joey, (laughs) or was he like the real size? But he did have. I saw his mic shot. He had the eyeliner. Yeah, yeah. He had the eyeliner on. Mr. Callaway was asked to leave by security, became enraged, and tried to perform a tombstone power <laughs> driver on the bouncer, which unfortunately, unfortunately injured Callaway and the bouncer. Oh, good Lord. We gotta, I'm going to Google search this cap and cock. Well, if you guys didn't notice, I actually am Umaga. You I are? Am, I am Umaga. <laughs> Joe, I don't think that was funny. Hold on. <laughs> 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 you don't have a derailment for him, neither? No, uh, because it was kind of on topic. I'm, I'm, I'm Google searching. Uh, Cap and cough. Google. Double D jag. New brain. <laughs> See, I think this is fake news. I'm going to say this is uh, this is fake news. No, <laughs> it's a real. <laughs> it's a real place. It was closed. It's closed. It's closed now. Yeah. After the tombstone. Yes. So he, he took out the whole So bar. we can't even go there now. We can Man. buy it. <laughs> we can buy it and reopen it. <laughs> There's actually cap and cocks all over the wor- all over the world. Really? Yeah. I wonder if they have a fresh fest there. <laughs> they might. They might have a fresh fest. There we go. There we go. <laughs> all right. I think it's time to go, Joe. <laughs> what about you? I think so. Did I make you mad at me today? A little bit. I mean, you could have taken me to a ball game or something like that. All right. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll go to a Wild Things game. Sounds nice. All right. (laughs) I'm taking you to a car show next week. Yeah, but just don't puke on me. Yeah, you're going to make him wax your car. (laughs) Wax Wax on, on, wax wax off. off. Yes, sir. (laughs) Mutual J.O. bros. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We got uh, the car show next week, Saturday, September 22nd. Max Motive Grand Opening. And Classic Muscle and Custom Car Show, 2 p.m., 1366 Old Freeport Road at their um, Suite 700. There's going to be food trucks, DJs, giveaways, over 120 classic cars for sale. It's brought to you by the uh, Fox Chapel Yacht Club, our friends at Team Nuts, and the World of Wheels. And then us. We'll be there broadcasting live. Nice. Yeah. 
Pittsburgh PodCon, the first ever Pittsburgh PodCon, Sunday, September 30th, 5 p.m. at Spirit, uh, 242 51st Street in Pittsburgh. You're saying that's Lawrenceville. You I think believe it's Lawrenceville. It's Lawrenceville. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's all the uh, podcasts in the uh, in the area are getting. We don't. We're not on the stage. We're just on the, like the main row. Okay. We'll be exhibiting visual aids. Should we bring the belt? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. of Wait, course. You see, exhibiting visual aids. Yeah, <laughs> I was scared of that one. <laughs> well, on this show, it could be interpreted in a completely different way. We should yes. bring we should bring pictures of Magic Johnson. In the <laughs> wow! <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> it's kind of taking it weird today, a little bit. And then, lastly, our big event that we're pushing: Time for Fresh Fest comedy show Saturday, October six, nine p.m. at the Brookline Pub. Get tickets uh, by inboxing us on uh, on social media. We go to idiotradio.net to buy them online from, I believe it's Eventbrite. I think it's freshfestcomedy.eventbrite.com. All right. Dot com. Time. Dot com. The headliner is Time Mac. You said Time for Fresh. Time for Fresh Fest. Comedy fundraiser. We can't say Fresh Time. Can't say Fresh Fest. Or Fresh Fest. Yeah, we can't say Fresh Time either. I think that's a company too. Okay. We'll get we we'll getting called big socks by them on Twitter. Leg- legalities, <laughs> Le'Veon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You got anything, Vinny? No, I'm just glad we're back and reaching out to everybody, and I hope to see everybody at the events. You know what I mean? Yeah, Joe, you excited? I'm very excited. It was nice, you know, to spend spend time with our drinking partners here today. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great time. We, got, we might as well take a call before we go. This is Big Mike. I am at the White Eagle. Hey, Mike. Uh, <laughs> we got Big E here. Oh, he's Luke giving us the roll Knight call. Here. Hey, got how's everybody the doing? Police, Jay and them in the house. we getting it ready. It's going to be jumping. Nice. Well, the show's over, Mike. Up. I'll let y'all. Peace. We're, we're getting it. <laughs> we're getting it. He must have been uh, partying too much for the uh, Steeler game. Because uh, the, ga- the show's over, Mike. <laughs> we're getting it. <laughs> oh, we're going there. we got to find it. Where is it? Here it is. We're getting it. <laughs> we're getting it. All right. I think I think it's time. It's to time go. to go. Yeah, it is. Once I start playing with the soundboard, it... <laughs> 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 All right, we're out of here. Thanks for uh, listening to the show today. Uh, please call our anytime line, 412-407-SHOW. Tell us how what you think. Tell and, us. And everybody have a drink on us, partners. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have, I'm going to have some drinks with my drinking partners here. All right. J-O partner. Joe, mm-hmm. thanks for coming. Hey, anytime. And this guy, Tim. Yeah. First time he's been here in... Since the beard shaving, since, yeah, since yeah, shaved my beard. Since you've been here last, we uh, the the world record for Oreos, yeah, came yeah. to fruition. Back, uh, we did that back in March. It, it just got accepted like a month ago. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so that was pretty crazy. All right, we're out of here. Peace. Later. Thanks, Thanks Dick Socks. <laughs> What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.